The address is 3084 uh, Park Avenue East. That's what. That's 75 transmitted for box 2782, the address 3884 Park Avenue East. That's between Claremont Parkway and East 172 Street. Fire to one story taxpayer. 3884 Park Ave. 2674. Yeah, size up is uh, 100 by 50. Exposure 1 is a street. Exposure 2 is a five story building. Exposure 3 is a rear courtyard. Exposure 4 is a similar attack. Fox, battalion 26. Oh, battalion 26. 26 FDOC is inquiring if this is a motor vehicle repair shop. 10 4, it's so an auto motor repair shop. That's cool. Negative, uh, no sense for this address. Two line stretch, two in operation. We have water on the fire. Nah, the company's to making progress. Still have two line stretch, two in operation. Knocking down fire. Primaries right now are still underway. Trucks are opening up. All right, guys, this is a 1075 all hands fire with an extra engine in the next truck. Two one engine eight two. Got fire and a taxpayer, uh, one story taxpayer, auto repair store, uh, two line stretch, and that one that you just saw, a third line being stretched. Hold on. You're gonna have a lot of force six action and a lot of fire. The chief just asked for two more trucks, and he had already asked for another one or two. They got a good smoke condition pushing still, though. It took us about 10, 15 minutes to get here, but you know, you can't be everywhere. That's a lot of smoke pushing out of there. But they got water on the fire, the fire's darkening down. Let me see if I can get uh, another. They, they, they might go for a second alarm on this. They still got fire in there. Command to rescue roof. Got it. Anchor engine is on their way. Uh, bring a line up to the roof for you there. They're doing some heavy work in there, but it's very dark. They got a lot of smoke pushing from the back side of this. They're trying to get a handle on it right here in the front. Uh, but they got a lot of smoke pushing in there, folks. 
Hopefully it's residual. They're knocking down pockets of fire in there. There's the third dry line. Hey Matt, can you guys cut and push down on the, over the two side bay, about 20 feet back? They're just starting to get the ceilings down now, but they got a bit of fire. Can you guys do some pushing down from the roof line? Yeah, how far back from the front? 20, and then how far back off the two side do you need? Right in the center of the two-side bay. So about 30 feet off the two-side wall. Alright. 30 to 40 feet. Okay. Yeah, do you guys have a wall on the two-side yet? We have a section hole to cut down the, uh, the first two, I don't know, maybe 60 to 80 feet back. All right, they want a second alarm. Transmitting a second alarm. I thought so. They got fire in the cockroach. Okay, stay by. Second alarm train, this is Fox 2782. Advent 3884 Park Avenue East between Claremont Park Lane, East 172 Street. Fire in an auto repair shop. Second alarm train, this is Fox 2782, Advent 3884 Park Avenue East. Claremont Park Lane, East 172 Street. Fire in the uh, Cosmo, I think it's by 27 plus aerial, so towards the north side of the building, north side of the building. You can see that from above. Yeah, we're working on that now. Alright, we're trying to get a Cosmo up and operation below you. Uh, if anything has a line in place, we'll get the guys out of the way below, you can hit it from up there if that, uh, that would help. Alright, that's good. Uh, we can use it on the here, which is rapidly going through. But we do have heavy fire in that front two corner. Alright, let me just clarify, it's in the, uh, it's in the sawtooth structure, up way above their heads. It's not technically the cock off, it's above the cock off. Alright, so you're, you're better off getting it from, uh, from all this to the roof level, right? Yeah, we can do that a little bit. Alright, we're waiting on trucks, we've got uh, two more trucks coming, alright? I came up to a roof up here, see if we can see something for you all. They just transmitted the second alarm. A lot of smoke. Let me... This is the only angle with fire right like now. Drop it in on. Looks like this roof is caving in. They got heavy fire blowing out here in the back post. They transmitted the second alarm. The units are starting to come in. You'll hear them in the distance. Everywhere. Going towards the rear of the two side bay. Fire is pretty much controlling the cockpit area right now. We're, we're multiple holes throughout, and uh, it's starting to blow 
Fire pushing through the back right now. Engine four six six. Okay, we got visible fire. Back down on the fourth side. Still open operate. All right, so there's a lot of fire in here in the back. I don't know if they're seeing it. Go for go. Matter four six chauffeur. Matter four six chauffeur. Hey Pat, can you uh, start bringing the rig around uh, either 172 or whichever block cut over the uh, coming in the wrong way? You got some more fire in the couple of Command two fire sector. You can hear the second alarm unit. This is going to go to at least the third alarm. I'm thinking if it gets into this back set area, setback area over here. fire towards the front but I can't film over there because it's uh, covered in smoke. Right. picking up the smoke so I don't know how well it's filming this. Let me tap on it. Thank 
operations on this because they don't get a handle on it because the wind is pushing it all around. Wind driven. Their flashlights, they got multiple lines stretched in operation. And this building goes all the way back down there where you see the members on that other, other fourth, fourth back set landing. The fire looks like it's in the cock off throughout the whole place now. And then you have the cock off cargo operating right now in the entrance of the exposure to the side. All right, then four. Command to the Diet 206 fire sector. Fire sector. We'll be preparing to fly everybody out shortly. We're going to have to stay with the roof level. So, uh, 206 rocket setting up in front of the building. Start uh, having the guys know what's going on, okay? We're all doing these lines and operations for now. We're we'll having the truck start backing out, okay? Off the roof. Out of five minutes, get everybody else off the roof at this time. Then four. Get 
Try to bring the tower ladder back here. They're gonna to try to get it into that lot back there. There's a parking lot.
Battalion 3 to engine 82. 1-3. 1-3, nothing coming up on the uh, command post right now. Alright, 10 four. get um off of there just in case because it was getting a little a little dicey but they got water on the fire now that was blowing over there they got the tower ladder hitting it right now he transmitted a third alarm Five 
why they see the early country. All right. Third alarm units are going to be coming in. They're getting a handle on it now. Once they put the tower ladder on and they hit the area where the collapse occurred back there. Well, there's no fire visible from down here on the inside. Uh, just a little bit. Let me go around and peek around. Five eight, five eight, show. Heavy fire pushing throughout the whole back and middle area and in the cock bar. Make sure you have your hands with you. I'm going to try to switch over to a command channel shortly. That is the road full of sun for the first two units. Uh, that will operate on one. 5-8, 5-8, go for it. We are attacked at our command. Command, go ahead. Yeah, we have a lot of 5-8 operating. They just started water. They're hitting uh, pockets of fire from the rear, okay? Right, we have an explosion. Coming over the top of the building. Keep it down onto the roof. Do you have any explosion issues back there? Or you can see a fire building in no. At this time, just the fire building. We'll let a 5-8 bucket know to not uh, shoot it out to the street.
in uh, the staff on uh, 171 Park. All right, you have all the units that they're trying to stand you down there? Yeah, they're just starting to come in now. Uh, just let me know uh, what you need. All right, that's cool. We're okay here for now. We're completely exterior. All right, guys, so you saw we got here within 20 minutes of the fire. Uh, they were getting a good handle on it, but you can't you can't predict fires. Uh, nobody could predict the fire. Uh, plus, there's some wind condition that's uh, hampering the work and, you know, Uh, making it difficult to fight the fire. Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah. All right, Brian? I'm just talking. Well, we were looking for you, bro. I was going to go back to the I know that we're going to go to the They're bringing tower ladder 44 and water on the lens, water on the lens. And uh, as I was saying, uh, the wind and all the elements, and then the fire takes off, and as you saw the complete collapse of the roof back there. I think the squad is taking up. Command to staging. Command to staging, battalion 1 4. Staging to command, go. QF 32 truck, report to the command post. Just a member, you're going to go with 18 truck and operate an exposure for more. Uh, battalion 1 8, operate an exposure for more. M432 just got here, I'll send them down. Alright, Tell them to bring a saw down. Of course, Blanchard, it looks like the uh, building is boarded up again. M4, staging area to ladder 32. Ladder 32, right? M4, report to Battalion 18 in Exposure 14. Exposure 4. I think they want to come into this building here. Let me go down just in case they do. Yeah, they looks like they're coming this way to go into this building. Command to rescue battalion. Rescue battalion. Go we look pretty good outside. We got a lot of fire knocked down. The uh, exterior wall, 46, is recooling it. We still look good on the inside. And four. 75 is operating the line for three to Um. Possibly might need a line in two trolley, but right now we're good. All right, and that would be just to operate on the fire building itself, correct? The window started to crack from the heat, but now that we're making progress from upstairs, I don't think it's going to go much further. It would just be precautionary at this time. All right, we can we stand over there for you. They're gonna bring a uh, tower ladder 44 and uh, set it up probably. So they got one tower ladder up here. The one in the back that I told you guys early on. And this one coming in. Operate with the rest of the time. Do you require the services of the DL Recon Chief? This is six for the Bronx, negative. 
Yukon just asked for two more ladders. They're gonna set up the tower ladder and put it in operation. They gotta connect the uh, the line to. It's already connected to the engine. They're forcing entry over here. I guess they gotta check this for any any extension because I believe one of the one of the windows cracked while the fire was going on. How do we look from uh, your viewpoint? We're knocking down the flames. All right, that's floor.
46. Uh, we're just making our way to the coach. Thank you. Okay, they're making good progress. Uh, here's uh, Chief Moore with the uh, other battalion chiefs assessing the situation. Alright guys, they're making good progress on this fire. Uh, uh, most uh, visible fire has been knocked down. They're hitting hot spots. There are three tower ladders in operation and um, they're working to extinguish the rest of the fire right now. Uh, continues at a third alarm. They might have asked for a couple of extra trucks. Which company do you have in the staging area? I have model 17, model 38, engine 71. Sorry, they're still at a third alarm operating uh, at this fire with a few extra trucks. engine is around here also. I have
They gotta do They're starting to break down lines. They're getting a better handle on it, but they still, they still do have pockets of fire, as I showed you a few minutes ago, in the ceiling and in the collapse zone. I'm gonna go around the command post and I'm gonna see if they have a anything going on in the building, I might go back up there and check it out.
building. They did a great job at protecting this building, the exposure, uh, which is a four or five stories. And the uh, uh, lines that they put in there uh, really made a difference. Big difference. Look at all the water coming out of everywhere. Mini lake over there. Just goes to show how when we got here there was a lot of smoke pushing, but I read the smoke and I could tell that it was going to two or three alarms immediately. Uh, that black and gray chunky smoke, especially all that smoke that was pushing from the back. After operations are over, I might go up to the roof. I don't know. I'm getting a little too old, so it was a trek going up. I don't know if I want to relive it. got the electricity back on in that building it looks like or somebody just woke up I don't know because they were all off uh, I might take a peek up there I don't know let me give, give me a few minutes to figure it out
just let you guys see what's going on. They're still hitting me. Uh, pockets of fire. And they're using two tower ladders right now. The one on the back, on the other side. Tower ladder 58 is swapping out the members. Once they swap out, then they're gonna uh, probably swap out these members or stop spraying from this side. It looks like they pretty much have it now. Alright guys, uh, there's a lot of maneuvering going on. They brought in some new chiefs. Uh, Chief Esposito and Chief Moore left. Uh, like I said before, they're winding down the operations, but they're still spraying. And we're going to be taking up. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going back up there, but <laughs> you'll see it if I do. And you won't see it if I don't. giving you guys a heads up this is winding down very quickly I'm not going back up to the roof uh, they turned off the uh, tower ladder lights probably won't be able to see anything uh, but they're gonna have a press conference with chief of operations Esposito so I might uh, hang around for a few more minutes for that Hi, good evening. At uh, one minute after 11 tonight, uh, we received a call for a fire at 3884 Park Avenue here in the Bronx. It's a one-story auto repair shop. Uh, we arrived to find heavy fire throughout the building. Uh, we had firefighters inside the building for a short while. Uh, and, and just after we pulled everybody out, uh, we had a collapse of the roof. Uh, it was a third, it's a third alarm fire. At this time, we have no injuries. Uh, we have 138 fire and EMS personnel on the scene, uh, about 40, 40 units, uh, and we're going to be here throughout the night. Uh, we still have fire in the building. Uh, we're, it's an exterior operation, everybody outside, and uh, we'll put water to extinguish the fire. Uh, and in the morning, we will uh, reevaluate the building. Uh, we'll have uh, some structural engineers uh, taking a look to make sure it's safe. Uh, fire marshals are on the scene, uh, and they'll be part, they'll be investigating to determine the cause of the fire. And there's a there's an occupied apartment building next door. Did that uh, one of the exposures is an occupied apartment uh, building. Uh, we did not have any fire in that. We have fire companies inside there with hose lines uh, protecting that building, but we did not have any extension into that building. Uh, we're not sure what side the fire started on, but we have extensive damage throughout the building. Thank you. You got it.
Uh, they're picking up all the lines and they're still rotating trucks. They're going to bring another truck. I think uh, Tower Ladder 35 is coming in from Manhattan to do um, some moss spraying. Uh, and against my best wishes, <laughs> I'm going to go up and check it out from up there. They cleared this all out. People are back in the building, so... Everything's pretty good. All right, guys, I came back up. Here's Tower Ladder 58 that was operating from the backside here from that lot. Very creative to get that beast in there. So, let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to see much. This is where that collapse occurred. It's very dark. Is that a bucket to one Let me see if I could go over here. All right, they're searching for pockets of fire, but that's where the collapse occurred. Uh, Italian 10, sector 3. Right there. Command. That's the name. You get that report from some of these pockets, there's no uh, visible fire. This is the whole collapse zone back here. You see it all with the tower ladder flashing there, light. You see most of it. Uh, a large, large portion of that building collapsed back here. Let me see if the little flashlight on this phone works better. Hold on. That's not my, from my little flashlight. That's from the tower ladder. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. They're still looking. Uh, the front portion is not that badly damaged. The roof area. But just this back area here where they're shining. Let me see if I can go over here and see some of it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get the stomach, need some grub. The feet didn't get wet, but they feel a little damp. I don't know. Uh, this whole area was the one that collapsed. All of that right there, down here, all the way down here. Shine this way, guys. Major collapse, too. Major collapse. <coughs> All right, there's the command post. Like I said, they're rotating the tower ladders. They stopped those two. I think they're going to keep that one out of service because they said they don't see any pockets of fire. But look at this. So this building starts all the way down here. Then it has one section, two sections, three sections, four sections, and all the way in the back. Okay. I hope you can see that down there, that whole area that went down. Thank God nobody was killed or hurt. 
with that said, from the Boogie Down Bronx, uh, we're gonna head down to Manhattan, which is that way, it's way down that way. Two and two, we're gonna see you all on the other side. All right, guys, last clip for the night. Where the rack at? There the rack at. Uh, that's rack three, right there, from the Boogie Down Bronx. And the other one should be either rack one, or I don't know, two sometimes they send, but there the rack's at. Rack three. And there's the other rack over here. Uh, rack one from Manhattan. There the rack at. All right. I'm gonna snatch a couple of these. Two and two, see you on the other side. Hello, I'm back to the 782 is now in the control. That's the 404.